Hello and welcome to the 2014 Royal Norfolk Show from the Norfolk Showground. Yes, it's that two-day event again. The very best of Norfolk agriculture and everything else we have to offer in this fine county of ours. Two days ahead, courtesy of the Royal Norfolk Agricultural Association. At the very heart of our Royal Norfolk show is of course agriculture and it's a great opportunity for those who have cattle and sheep and goats to bring them along, prepare them to be judged. Yes, prepare to be, to prepare to be judged in the ring by very experienced judges from around the country. This is the preparation area, the grooming area as they're getting ready to go into the ring. Enjoying that? Mm. We have been, we won the Sheila New class to start with, then we ended up being um, champion female and reserve supreme. Well, it all starts a long time ago in sort of November. We pulled the ewe lambs, they were ewe lambs then, out and they've been running in the field, having a bit of extra corn, a bit of extra TLC. We sheared them about three weeks ago. Um, we started halter training about three weeks ago. Um, Saturday, we filled up a big black tub of shampoo and water and we had like three sheep in the bath. It was like a jacuzzi. <laughs> so they all got them all lathered up got them out, washed, rinsed them off, and uh, that's basically what we do. I'm absolutely delighted. It's the first time that Houghton have won it. Of course, a visit to the Royal Norfolk Show isn't complete without a visit to the Grand Ring and the many activities that take place within it. At the moment, we're going to be seeing some of the wonderful show jumping on display. And this time last year was uh, still on a high from winning the Hickstead Derby. Came here and won this very competition last year on this very horse. Riding uh, Darry Cornish's uh, Caratiar Z, the next to go. Winner of this competition and of course winner of that Hickstead Derby 2013. I'm absolutely thrilled by the way all the plans seem to have come together. No doubt there will be little hiccups that have been going on um, underneath the... Uh, the vision of most people who visit but um, hopefully nothing too serious has come our way so far. I think we are incredibly lucky that the Royal Norfolk show that we can involve high-class jumpers and their, their, their stat, sturdy steeds um, and they enjoy coming to this grand particularly because of the way the groundsmen look after the grand ring itself um, and it is meant to be one of the favoured surfaces to actually jump from. To get a real sense of how big this site is Anglia access platforms are taking me way up to discover. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this. Meanwhile, back to you in the studio.